Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager at Sunshine Resources. Welcome to our tutorial 11 on how to build a website with HTML and CSS. In the last tutorial, I introduced you to how to create tables, introduce you to tags that is used in creating tables. I say tables are very important in, in web on website because that is what we use to put more information um, in a better form. Sometimes when some information are represented in rows and columns, they give better meaning and illustration. So it's very important that we know how to create tables on the website. And so today we're going to learn how to um, create table header. Today we're going to learn how to create table header. Table header means that um, maybe you want to use um, the first row here to be the header and most of the time is going to be bolded you want it to be bold all the items at the first row will be bolded and that is what is meant by table header so let's construct let's let's design our table to to have headers now for example let's have names and here let's have sex And here let's have class. Class. Okay, let's remove this fish. And here we have, let's say, the same John. And here you have sex now, it's going to be male. And then class. Maybe we say ss1 this is one okay let's save and refresh to see what we have all right our table is looking more beautiful now but we're now going to insert the header so that the first row will be bolded now to insert the header what you will do is just to turn this td to th just turn this td to th instead of the td is going to become th so let's remove let's turn this to th 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 and th so we have turned the first row into a header by turning the opening and the closing tag from td to th td to th td to th all of them now let's save and refresh to see what we have you can see that the first row is bolder than the second row and that is the header so names john sex male class ss1 so this is how you create a header you want the top row item to be bold and this is what you do all you have to do is to come to the code and change the th sorry the td to th so that it becomes a header if you want this row also to be bolded you change the td to th thank you very much for watching and god bless you if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much for watching Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager of Sunshine Resources. Welcome to our tutorial 12 in our series how to build website with HTML and CSS. In the last tutorial, we created table header where we bolded the items in the first row of the table. Today we'll be creating tables with diverse columns, a process called called spanning a table. Let's say we want to create a table with one column at the top and three columns at the middle all right so the first thing you do normally is to put on your table tag we already have them here and then table border here is one so now let's create the first row tr 
the opening let's go create the closing now let's expand it to create the column now this column is a special column because it's going to be a header so instead of writing td we're going to write th that is th like this and then you write cold span cold span equal to inverted comma open and close two or let's make it three and then you close it and because it is a header and we want it very bold so we're going to create header three and then we write the item in the cell science subject science subject and then now we close the header now header 3 and then the final closing of the tag th okay we have succeeded in creating the first column in the first row which is a header and it calls pan three columns now let's create another row again tr So now we're going to write TD instead of TH because this is no longer a header. Here we'll write chemistry. Okay, let's copy it. And paste. Let's paste because we want to have three columns. So we'll change here to biology. And then we'll change here to physics. Because we are talking about science subject. Physics. So that is it. Let's refresh to see what we have done. Let's save and refresh to see what we have done. Wonderful. This is what we have done. We did the first, the first um, row and column contain science subject and you now have chemistry, biology and physics in the second column. That means the first column span through three columns as you can see. So that is the essence of this number here called span three. It's going to cover three columns. Now what we, what if we want to add now Let's add more now to it. Let me copy this. close it so I'm going to create another row create another column now let me copy this and insert it here then instead of science subject we now have art subject art subject art subject instead of science we have art subject now
all right now I'm going to create another um, column let me copy this Okay, I'm going to paste it here and at the end here I'll write okay so instead of chemistry here I'll have history instead of biology here I will have economics instead of physics here I'll have government um, one column spanning through three columns also one column spanning through three columns let's save to see what we have as you can see this is what I've done science subject art subject you can see that's what I've done so this is how to create um, diverse columns within a table and this is very important because as a web devel developer or a website designer you will have sometimes come across data like this they have to put in this format thank you very much for watching and god bless you in the next tutorial we're going to be creating in the next tutorial we'll be varying the depth the width of our table who will who will, who will, who will learn how to change the width of the table the width of the table Thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.